Good morning, everyone. I think we're rolling. Um, I had a special request from one of the crafters community about um, this particular looper tool. It's called a one-step looper. Uh, it comes in a package that has instructions on the back about its usage. And I'm just going to do a quick show and tell on this. Um, you've all done things like this yourself, where you're making the loops on uh, your jewelry for your components that you're going to string together for necklaces and putting a, a loop on the end. Um, things that you're trying to loop together to put into bracelets. So this is a very handy tool because before you had to take a couple of pair of pliers and do all of this stuff. Anyway, it's simple as taking your wire and you can see that there's this pin right here and you're going to go underneath the pin and right through and on the other side there's a hole so your pin can protrude out this other side. So you're going to put your pin in there you're just going to squeeze it the mechanism is going to come down onto your wire and as you squeeze it's going to cut and it's going to curl that loop. Okay? So if you have a string of beads like this that you want to uh, make into something, you're going to take your bead on your head pin. You're going to slide it into the tool through the opening right up here to the end. And then as you Let's see, make sure I'm in focus here so you guys can see this. Okay, so as you as you crimp the tool, it's just going to twist that right around. And off it comes and you've got your loop. Now, it doesn't it doesn't actually, if you can see that, it doesn't actually close it all the way. So if you're sliding a piece of chain or something onto it, you can very easily do that, but um, if you want to finish closing it, then I would take a pair of pliers and just give it a little squeeze. And make sure that things are lining up the way you want them to. Anyway, that's the, the show and tell for today, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.